obviously their Olympic trials. So Kate Grace has moved. I'm not quite sure why Kate Grace isn't in lane six because uh, that would mean she'd have a lane to herself. So she's sharing a lane on the outside with a pacemaker. And lane six is empty. Long, long time being held there. And uh, Latoya Gould just getting left a little bit on the start line. We've got ourselves moving fairly quickly. Laura Muir as ever letting uh, Gemma Ricci start a little bit quicker, sharing the lane. Kate Grace hasn't started too quickly either. And already moving up, Almanza looking as though she might want to take charge of this. She's a good front runner, Almanza, as well. When she ran the 156 in Cuba before she came back with that big win in Stockholm. She was led through in about 57 and then just took it on herself, won by an absolute mile. And here the pacemaker's gone way too hard. And now Manza wants to go out hard, wants to go out quick, wants to see how fast she can do. How can she hold on? But this isn't really helping. This is pretty much going to end up with Almanza being left out there on her own. Uh, Diego Meza looking around a bit too late now. Yeah, Diego Meza, well, she will go through if she doesn't slow down in about 55 seconds. It's not good pace making at all, and that's very disappointing. There we go, 54.8, 57 had been asked for. That's uh, very, very disappointing indeed for the for Almanza and the rest of the pack, really. Well, they've all committed to it, but in slightly different ways. Almanza ran a very hard first 200. Ghoul now right on her back. She was just outside 56 seconds through 400. Kate Grace moving up. Bisset trying to hang on to the rest of them. Laura Muir gritting her teeth. Nakai a little way back at the moment, but she will finish strongly. But look at Natoya Ghoul. The Jamaican has really struck for home here. She's talked about how much confidence she's been getting from her racing in 2021. A little bit from last year as well, but is this a little early? Kate Grace, as we see, Almanza just going backwards. Gemma Ricci and Laura Muir, the two Scots, now trying to attack round the outside. And Natoya Ghoul looks as though she's just starting to tie up a little bit, but they're all tired here. It's Ghoul, Grace, Ricky, Muir trying to look for a little bit of room. Now going to have to check out and go wide and try and get past the teammate. And Laura Muir is going to get there. The 1500 strength is showing. Laura Muir with a massive personal best. And that for her might be something which might make her think about a decision a couple of days ago was it the right decision i think she'd probably still say yes that's not far off the british record it is a scottish record it's quicker than lindsay sharp has ever run and Gemma ricky just behind her both of them inside the old scottish record but laura muir who said, no, I won't run the 800 of the Olympics, I'll just concentrate on the 1500. I think, Tim, that was because everyone went out hard and Laura was there and was able to pick them off because she just had that bit of strength to keep going, that bit of extra endurance. Well, a fabulous run, isn't it? Really quick times there, Riki, personal best in second place, personal best for Kate Grace in third place. But uh, considering what an untidy home straight run Laura Muir had, that is something.